from the depths instant tutorial. This is your host Eric on Jim Desmond. Today we're going to look at ring shields. Ring shields provide a loop like this and uh, that loop in turn increases the armor class of all blocks. Rings may be fitted within rings just like this and that increases their area of course. Each ring has its independent area and it doesn't matter that they are within each other. They can share that area. What's very cool with ring shields like this is that, as said, they increase the armor class of any block in its direction. So, with this wall of blocks, they will only increase armor class for projectiles coming into an angle like we are right now, as if they were going through. They will not increase the armor class in this direction. That means you might have to have different ring shields for different surfaces. This is fine for this direction as well as this direction. These ring shields here are very good for things coming from above, like that, or below. Thus ring shields are very well suited for one-siders or front-siders. As they increase the armor class, they do a great job of protecting things that are already well armored. When you hover over a ring shield, you can see that this little thing this inner shield is taking 2490 power. If it's on, it's gonna request that power. And this one, of course, is a little bit larger, so it takes 2700 power. You can see the enclosed ring's surfaces, and the surface, that is the area in square meters, decides its strength. If you look down here on the analysis on the full ring shield strength, you can see that this thing, while it's only providing a bit of that, but with all the shields in this direction combined, we have the up and down total modifier ring shield gives us a total 7 armor class in bonus. The armor class is of course the armor class on these blocks here. You can see that wood has 8 armor, stone has 16, aloe has 35, metal has 40 and heavy armor has 60. So basically that means that from up and down, angles up and down, that means that that would increase the wooden uh, armor by about the double. So actually if you have a uh, ship that is uh, of wood but has very strong ring shields, <laughs> those ring shields can actually make the wood stronger than uh, metal. <laughs> the ring shields works in this way. Inside here we have a particle projectile projector thing and the particles spin around in circles like this from only one direction. The particles have only one direction. And uh, because of this, they somehow generate more armor class for all the blocks. That's some kind of quantum magic. And you might wonder, yes, that's the game trivia, whatever, why do you need to care? Unfortunately, you need to care very, uh, very much. Because if this pipe gets damaged, the particles will be let out and they will basically create a death beam. And this one has, what is that, 1.4 million energy? And that will do a lot of damage. People are actually making uh, Alpha Strike weapons using ring shields and breaking them intentionally while being pointed at the enemy. That means that you need to care a lot about where your pipe is aimed when it's being destroyed. So for example, if we look here, if we pr fire this little cannon here, you can see that the ions leaked out and they caused a lot of damage. Here on the breakpoint, they just damaged and killed stuff in front of it, which actually chain reacted and killed this uh, lower ring as well. So if you just repair that, you can see it's now back. When you're building a ring shield, you need to make sure that the ion pipe, the little ring here uh, on top of this green sphere, is pointed inside the area. So this thing here is pointed downwards and that means ring form, but the area is zero. If we have it to the side, it doesn't work still. And if you have it upwards, it suddenly works. And you, now you can see it's charging, getting up to that energy, and uh, it works. So, to the side doesn't work, upwards does work. When you place this block, you also see this little arrow. This little arrow uh, depends uh, or, or tells you 
which direction the uh, beam is going. It, it can't form a shield yet, of course. It needs to be a closed loop. Whenever the closed loop is broken, uh, the ring shield's uh, armor class bonus disappears. And you don't even need to do classical rings, while it's uh, most probably usually the best idea, but you can do really weird rings like this as well. You can see it works absolutely fine. Uh, they can be a little bit offset like this even. As you can see here, this looks a little bit wonky. And uh, it needs to point in the approximate direction of the shield, because if you point it this way, it doesn't work. If you point it this way, uh, it does work. So yeah, you can play around a lot with shapes and stuff like that, but do keep in mind, the more corners you have, the more potentially scary your ring shield is gonna be. When having ring shields of weird shapes, you can see that there is one advantage, and that is that you can see that the area of this is 78,000, this is 90,000, and this one, the plain one, is only 72,000. So you can somehow increase the area a little bit by doing weird shapes. I don't really know how that works, but it kind of does. Remember that the particles inside the ring shields has a uh, direction, and that's the arrow. This means that if this shield breaks here, it's going to destroy all the blocks in front of it, which is going to destroy all of these too. And when it, when it will destroy these, of course, uh, that will be let out, so the particles coming from here, from that destroyed pipe, will go upwards and destroy these pipes too. So I painted the uh, areas that will ge get destroyed in a chain reaction here with, uh, here with the pink purple. So keep in mind that your particles has a direction going here. And that's gonna destroy there, and if that's gonna be destroyed, these are gonna be destroyed too. So that's a little bit thing to keep in mind. You need to remember in what direction stuff is going. So when we fired here, you can see the ions are leaking through like that, causing some fire <laughs> and starting to burn, and uh, we'll have we, we we are having a big problem, right? And if the inner rings are hurt. Now you can see that we have a larger chain reaction and stuff is really going bad very fast. So when making complex structures, keep in mind that each corner adds a potential outlet to cause some basically infinite damage. So you want to make sure that when you're using ring shields, any of the outlet shouldn't be able to like, I don't know, crit your AI or something like that. You need to watch those tubes and make sure that if they get destroyed, they won't chain react and destroy the AI or something irreplaceable. And as you can see, chunks are just falling off really quickly and that's because the ring shields doesn't have any connection point other than the shield generator. So when the shield generator gets destroyed, the entire ring just falls off. So uh, what you can do is you can use these the connection struts to make sure they are connected. This one is not connected, this one is connected. Here we have a little insulated thing and it has connection struts here and on the side here to make sure that the entire ring doesn't fall off if it gets damaged. Anyways, we're gonna look into that a little bit later. Uh, now Ring Shields has this little annoying uh, thing called EMP susceptibility. That means that they can be damaged and killed with EMP damage. So as you can see here, this looks like a gap of some kind. Now you can see it can jump this gap. It has no trouble jumping that gap. Just so you know, when you're EMP protecting stuff, it can jump those gaps. No problem. That means you need to make sure that your ring shields are EMP protected by being on rubber, for example. Here you can see our little prefab thing. Now I'm gonna tell you why this works. We have several rings on top of each other. This means that it will protect this vehicle from stuff coming in this direction or this direction. If it comes from a slight angle like this, it will give an approximate uh, protection based on the angle. The heftier the angle, the less the protection. If it's 90 degrees straight on, it will be full support. 
This thing has rubber all around to provide some EMP protection. It has armor within and outside, as well to just reduce the amount of chain reactions that can happen with fragments coming from project projectiles. Uh, you can also see I've used these uh, pipes here in teal to basically symbolize where the energy will go out. So when building, you can easily see, you can just follow this line and see if anything important lies ahead of it. This is the prefab here that any of the uh, commissioned officers can access easily. So as you might understand, we have outputs on all four sides since that's how it works, including downwards. So you need to check all those angles. Now, the armor class boost given by this uh, ring shields are very, very strong. If you do it right, it will really increase the survivability of your ship, especially if it's a one-sider or front-sider. If done right, ring shields has shown to be stronger than planar shields. The only caveat is that you can't have both. You need to choose. If you have ring shields, the planar shields will, will be disabled. Just like with the uh, planar shields, you should probably have this, a little automated switch using ACBs, that if there is no enemies will turn off the shields and if there is an enemy inside of here you can see the setting if there is an enemy it will set the shields to uh, set drive to full that will save you a lot of materials per second when you're not facing enemies the shields are pretty fast to charge so it shouldn't be a problem you can get very creative with your ring shields too here you can see a little box made to protect all angles so here we have these enclosed loops going around and wrapped inside this loop, which creates a lot of surface from left and right and back and forwards. Then for up and down, we have a smaller ring shield system here on top and everything is fitted into a box. This box is then EMP insulated with rubber and protected with metal on the outside. And that cube is also available as a template for the commissioned officers. And an obvious addition, why is it important to have a higher armor class? Most damage types do less damage to blocks that have a higher armor rating than blocks that has a lower one. And by increasing the AC class of all the blocks to a planar surface of the entire ship will make it a lot more durable or damage in that angle. Now you know everything you should need to know about ring shields to create really strong designs, one-siders and front-siders with good armor. I hope this is useful for you. If it was, please leave a like and do subscribe to the channel for some more videos. This is your host Eric of Jimmerism and if you want to support the channel, you have many options. See you next time. This is Eric signing out.